Today, I'm gonna to show you how I use my laptop with my Chestnut Pro to get a great training partner. The app that I'm using on my laptop is Lucas Chess. Lucas Chess is a great program that connects via Bluetooth with the Chestnut Pro or any eboard for that matter. At the end of the video, I will also test out if it works with the Chestnut Go. If I click play on Lucas Chess, I can play against an engine and here you will see multiple engines you can play against. It's got internal engines with different ratings on there. You see you've got your Maya AI engines. You've also got engines that I've never heard of. And then we've got external engines, which you can add, I would assume. Then you've got Grandmaster engines replicating several players. You've got Tawny engines, Lucas, Elo, and so on. So now I'm going to play against an engine and show you what it is like playing over the board with Lucas Chess on the Chestnut Pro. After that, I'll give you a quick tour of the program itself as well with other features that I'm gonna cover in other videos. Hey man, what's up? Hey bro. Hey, did you wanna buy a Chestnut Pro? No, I'm good, I've already got one. Well, maybe you don't want one. Maybe one of your friends. I don't, I don't have any friends. Hmm. Huh. Well, did you know that it's normally selling for that much? But now they've marked it down to that much? And for a short time only, if you use code Wiggy, you'll get it for that much. That is a good price. Yeah, it is a good price. Did you want to be friends? No. So anyway, I'm going to set it to play against the Maya 1700. And I'm going to click accept. Now I better turn on the eboard first. And as you can see, as soon as the eboard turns on, it will get you to test the board. Now, if I was to switch the king and the queen around, maybe take away a pawn and say that I'm ready to go, the program is going to know that I need to put the king and queen back in their right position and put the pawn back on the board. Now we're ready to play the game. And now the great part about this program is if you make a move that's not really that good, then it will actually show up on the program with different items. So you see here, you've got your show tutor, try again or select move. And that's the engine telling you that there was a better move that could have been played in this position. So you get the chance to look at what was going on there and you can go, okay, the engine was telling me this move over here might have been better. And you can select that move and then the game will continue. It will confirm that you've got all the pieces in the right spot. We need to put that pawn back because we didn't take it. And then it will continue on the game. Now, that's a great feature to have when you're playing by yourself and you don't notice something. It can stop you and get you to relook at the position before making the mistake. And there you have it, a great little addition to your training routine, being able to have the flexibility to bring out an opponent of any strength that you want to train against is such a handy tool to have. You can even turn the tutor off and just play the game as normal so that the coach doesn't get in there and interrupt your game with advice, which is also highly recommended. That this does work on other eboards as well. The Chestnut Go is new on the market and even though I haven't updated the software yet, I can still check to see if it works. Okay, when ready. And as you can see, it shows up 
that the two queens are still on the board and interfering with the game. Take them off, it works just fine. And we've got our eboard working on this program as well. Let me just give you a quick tour of the program. Let's resign that game. So to give you a quick tour of the program, you've obviously got your play. You can play against human versus human if you want. You've got your training mode, which I'll cover in another video. And that goes over the basics of the game as well as tactics, where you actually set the tactics up on the board and then play them out against the machine. You've got the compete mode, which is more of your playing against the computer in a regular game. You've got the tools, so you've got databases in there, openings, and you've got your options where you can customize the program itself. This is a really good program to have. Now I do have it connected through Bluetooth and I highly recommend you use a device such as a laptop which has Bluetooth because if you're gonna connect it through a cable and then you need to turn the board around, the cable is gonna to have to go with it and that's gonna make it difficult. Hope you got something from the video today. I will be covering more on this program in future videos so make sure you hit subscribe if you wanna see more of that content and I'll see you next time.